Hello, my dears. Welcome back to HGTV Handmade with me, Meg. And guess what? It is summertime. I'm seeing everybody out in their pool floats, eating their popsicles, sitting by the beach, and I am super jelly. And I'm about to go on vacation, and that is gonna be awesome. But for the rest of the summer, I will be working like grown-ups do. My parents were both teachers, and I thought that everyone had the whole summer off, and that is a lie. However, I think there's totally a way to harness and conjure up those sweet, chill summer vibes no matter what you're doing. So when I saw this very simple sort of clean, modern arrow sign at a big box store, I thought this was the perfect blank canvas to make a cool sign that looks sort of nautical, looks sort of modern, looks really girly, and totally encapsulates all those sweet, sweet summer vibes, man. So let's make a sign so we can be chilled out all summer long no matter where we are. To me, a hybrid of coral and lush pink just screams summer, but go with your favorite chill palette. Paint two to three light, even coats on the front of your sign. Allow each coat to totally dry in between to prevent clumps. No need to worry about the sides of your sign just yet, a little drippage is totally fine. When the pink's completely dry, gently dab the very tippy top end of a toothpick into black paint. You're creating teeny tiny dots of varying sizes all across the painted surface to create a modern, minimalist, almost splatter pattern. Go with any color combo that you want, of course. The process is actually kind of meditative, I won't lie. When you feel your pattern is totally filled in, allow it to completely dry like overnight. Then paint the sides. Yes, you can freehand it, but after applying your rad paint technique, I highly suggest protecting it with painter's tape. Tape the entire perimeter and press down the tape to totally seal it. Paint the sides of your sign a contrasting color like this vibrant cobalt blue. Gorgeous. Paint the entire perimeter and then let it really dry completely before removing the painter's tape. With a paint pen, write out your message in the same size as your sign on paper first a few times because that really helps you get like the hang of it. Ugh, see, I totally messed up there. I was overthinking it. You can always paint over any mistakes, so just go for it, man. Ah, there we have it. Cut a piece of a nautical rope to be about two and a half feet, tie a knot in the center, and place it on the back of your sign with the knot at the top. Use a staple gun to attach both ends and then cut off any excess that hangs down. Use the rope to hang your sign to create a chill, breezy environment. Because summer doesn't last forever, create the same pattern and color palette on a simple wooden box to hold office or craft supplies to make this cool, modern pattern last all year long. What are you gonna have your sign say? Sweet, sweet summer vibes? Or look out for sharks? Because last summer, seriously, I saw like a bajillion sharks in the water. I'm not even kidding. But let me know what you are thinking your sign's gonna say in a comment below. And have fun on your vacations, man. Look out for sharks. Don't forget to DIY. If you dig the vid, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to HETV Handmade for so many more sweet, sweet summer vibe DIYs. And we will see you guys later. Bye.